Now, let's take a look at how the profits and losses are calculated on this particular position. Now, these are puts, so okay. um, don't want to get them confused with calls. Right. Mm -hmm. So, in this instance, we have sold, we have bought the 390 put, right. which means we have the right to put that into someone else's hands. So, if the index were to drop to 300, we could buy it for 300 and then put it into that person's hand for 390. So we would buy for 300, sell at 390, the option's worth 90, and we would make that 90. Mm -hmm. On the other hand, we're short a put. We're short the 350 put. That means someone else has the right to buy it at 300 and put it into our hands at 350. Now, what that means is we would have to buy it at 350, mm -hmm. and we don't want to hold it, no. so we would have to immediately sell it and the prevailing price is 300 so we would buy at 350 and sell mm -hmm. at 300 so we would lose, lose. 50. Right. So the way this would look in our ledger this would be plus 90 minus 50 mm -hmm. minus the 10 right. that we did when we put the trade on the premium, cost. the premium that we paid when we put the trade on still that's where we net There's out the net. 30 yeah. and lo and behold that matches what we said Mm -hmm. would the yeah. difference between strike prices minus the net, the net debit. There you go. Yeah. Now, if once we get above 400, we are not going to exercise our right to put it into somebody's hands at 390 because that means we'd have to go out and buy it for 400 right. and then sell it for 390. So it's worthless. Right. And nobody in their right mind is going to go out and buy it for 400 to put it into our hands at 350. We can only hope that they do. Yeah, yeah. But, right. they, but they're not going to do it. <laughs> so the options are worthless, and there's a minus 10, which is an initial transaction, and so it's a minus, right. it's a minus 10. Mm -hmm. Now the break even on this trade is going to be 380. Okay. It's calculated by saying taking the option. The, the strike price of the option that you bought, yes. and because it's a put, the option of the strike, the strike price of the option that you bought, minus the debit. Right. Strike price of option bought minus debit. Mm -hmm. Three ninety minus yes. the minus debit 10. of ten is three eighty. Okay. And right. this trade has been closed out. Okay. And we'll take a look at how that performed. But let's take a one of the, a, a skip the ahead. We'll uh -huh. Take a look at the graph, and it just yeah. shows the numbers that we just calculated. And you can see here, any time, remember in the call spread, once it reached the strike price of the option that we sold, the profits peaked out. Right. Well, this is the same thing. Same way. Okay. It's reached the strike price of the 350, and profits are capped at that point. But in between, profits, you can see profits are climbing. And once we get below our break even, that's going to be the 380. The losses start accumulating. And, and then the losses out. max out. So there's our max risk, which is the debit that we paid. What ended up happening with this particular trade, we put the trade on in October. So October would be up here at the high. The October peak. would be up here at the high. This one, it was profitable, but I, I almost want to say it was profitable by accident. Okay. Because <laughs> we did not put this trade on expecting the Asian crisis. Oh. Sure, that would have but been just before that. Th we put it on just before that, and I mean, when that thing, when that hit, everything went down the toilet. Mm. And so it was, it was a terrific trade for us. Right. And I want to say, yeah. I knew it was going to be a terrific trade, and it was going to happen just <laughs> like that. But that's not what happened. Okay. It was a good trade. It did what we expected to do, but just not in the way we expected it. Mm -hmm. But. Sometimes you just get lucky, yeah, and that's yeah. that's one of those things where um, we'll we'll take it. But so it maxed out in this case. Um, actually, I think we well this gets back to volatility, and we're going to talk okay. about it. what happened was the time value just exploded even okay. on the option that we sold short. Mm -hmm. So we put the position on for ten, and I think we got it out out of there for about thirty-two. Oh wow! So we didn't get the whole thing. Mm -hmm. I mean, once it was. Essentially, once this free fall mm -hmm. occurred right here, yes. once it got down into this area, it's like, you know, I'm not going to look a gift horse in the mouth. Right. This thing just fell out of bed, and I'm going to take my profits at this point. Okay. I did not hold, uh, wait around for the whole thing. Sure. Okay. So, 
But that was fun. Yeah. <laughs> now we're going to take a look at credit spreads. Okay. And a credit spread is a spread where the option you are selling costs more than the option you're buying. So the person who's buying it from you gives you more money than you're expending. Sounds like a good deal to me. <laughs> it is a good deal. These are one of my favorites. This is one of my favorite strategies for capturing situations where volatility is high. In other words, the price movement is extremely large. It, the uh, movements are rather agitated, and we expect them. It's like the storm before the calm. Yeah. We have a strategy that we can look at for the calm before the storm, where we buy it when it's nice and sunny outside, and then the thunderclouds come. Right, right. Well, now it's thundering, and we want it to get. Yeah. We, we know the, the the clouds will pass pass by. Right. In this instance, we're looking at the bank <clears throat> the bank stock index, and we're looking at calls again. We are going to sell the September 750 call by the September 760 call for a total net credit of one and seven eighths. Now, this one, it, profits and losses are calculated pretty similarly. There's a difference between the strike prices, but since you're getting a credit for putting on the trade, it's the difference between strike prices minus the credit. So in this instance, our risk would be 7, 760 minus 750, 10, minus the 1 and 7 eighths, which would be 8 and an eighth. So okay. that's our risk, our risk potential versus our reward potential of 1 and 7 eighths. So the risk reward does not look as favorable as that natural gas index. Right. But we're gonna, there's right. an offsetting gain, and we'll talk about that in a little bit. Okay. Um, but anyway, this, we, it was up here, this is what, early August, mm -hmm. and bonds had kind of run into some problems at this point, and the whole interest rate sector was starting to look a little iffy. Mm -hmm. So we wanted not a strategy that was bearish per se, but we wanted a strategy that as long as, the in, let's take a look at this particular, what our goal would be. Here's 730 and here's 740. 750 would be somewhere up in this range right here. And this is, we're looking at a time of about six weeks. And that would be, if this chart went on to the September expiration, it would be right about here. So we just want, it can go up just so long as it doesn't go up. If it goes up this way, fine. If it goes up this way, that's bad. Yeah. So we just want the rate of increase to slow. Okay. That's all. If it goes down, fine, we'll make money. But if it, as long as it doesn't go through the roof. And let's show the option transactions just to show people how okay. to calculate it so they can verify. If the bank index is at 700, well, we are short the 750 call. There is no way somebody is going to exercise their right to buy at 750 when they could buy at 700. There's just no need for that. So the option's worthless. Same thing with the 760 call. We got paid 1 and 7 eighths to put the position on. That's a positive on our ledger. So we get to keep the entire credit because all the options expired worthless. It's once you get to 750 that things start to happen. Once you get above these, these strike price numbers up here. So let's just take a look at 760. Oops. At 760, the uh, strike price of, of, of the person that is we're short the 750 call, mm -hmm. they could buy it for 760, 750 from us, immediately sell it for 760, mm -hmm. thereby netting 10. Right. Well, we would lose 10 at that point. They're making 10, we're losing 10. So there's a 10-point option value. That's a negative what we're short that option, so we would have to buy it back at 10. So there's a minus 10, and then... What we paid for. What we paid, what we, no, what we collected. Or collected, that that's right, this right. is a credit. What yes. we collected... So it's a minus, it's minus eight and an eighth. 
And just like once it reaches that limiting strike price in the debit spread, once it reached that outside strike price, the profits were capped. Well, this is just like an inverse position. Once it reaches the outside strike price, the losses are capped. Because once we, let's say at 800, we're short the 750 call. That means somebody could call away from us at 750. So we would have to, if we don't own the asset, we have to go out and buy it for 800, mm. sell it to them for 750. So we bought at 800, sold at 750. There's a minus 50. But we own the 760 call. So we buy it at 760 and immediately sell it for 800. So we make 40. Mm -hmm. So we lose 50. We make 40. There's a minus 10. And then 1 and 7 eighths we got for going into the trade. So minus 10 plus 7 eighths is a minus 8 and 8. Okay. And this is just a graph of what the thing looks like. And I just want to real quick, let's, we're at 696.47. Mm -hmm. So the price right now is right about right there. Mm -hmm. So in order for us to start losing <clears throat> money, this is why when I talk about the risk reward doesn't look so good, but look at the profit. I mean, something has to happen dramatically right. in a month right. for us to lose for us to lose money. Right. What would that be? It would have to be go up to about seven fifty, so that's fifty points from right. seven ninety six. So was fifty four points. I mean you're looking at about a seven percent gain in mm -hmm. a month mm -hmm. in order for us to start losing money.